put on behalf of Project Services Work Group. It is the How to Use the PBS Metrics Excel Report. PBS Metrics is Projects, Ballots, and Standards. I'm David Hamill, Director of the HL7 Project Man Management Office and member of the PBS Metrics team. On this webinar also is Rick Hadorf and Frida Hall, who are the Project Services Work Group co-chairs. So if you're looking for the PBS Metrics spreadsheet, it is accessible in GeForge via hl7.org, Tools and Resources, down at the Project Management and Tracking Tools. From there, there's a link to PBS Metrics right there, and it will bring up GeForge, where it resides under the TSC project, releases PBS metrics, and you'll see many of the Excel spreadsheets over the past year or so. Once you open it, it will come up to the leftmost tab, which is the Helpful Hints tab. If this tab provides descriptions of the information on each of the other tabs, and the HO7 staff owner, whom you can contact if you have questions. Now, if we go to the report card tab, we're going to use CBCC as our example here. It provides an overview of their PBS infractions. Now, they're in red because their project health, column M, is, has items that need to be addressed. And those items are in red as well. They have one recirculation infraction, one unpublished ballot infraction, five project insight items that are behind more than 120 days, a project insight item on hold of more than 120 days. There's other calculations here as that help feed into the project health. Now, other items on here <coughs> that CBC is fine is unpublished CMETs, five-year anniversary items, and a few items over here to the right are idle ballots, expired DSTU, active ballots without recon packages, and non-advancing items. These items here are linked to a report tab on the workgroup page on hl7.org, and we'll get into that a little bit later. So I went over a lot of these headers, and these headers are all described in the Helpful Hints tab. So you can go back to the Helpful Hints tab to, to identify what is meant by the recirculation infraction, what is meant by the unpublished ballot infraction. From here, after looking at the report card, if you go to the summary report and you sort on column C just for your work group, and we'll use CBCC as our example, you'll see additional detail of the items from that report card. So you'll see which projects are behind more than 120 days and what their next milestone date and other information here in column F. <coughs> With the recirculation and the unpublished ballot infractions, we have um, information about those infractions as well. So let's look at these, these infractions for CBCC. Recirculation has, the recirculation tab has even more information about that infraction. You can look at the header information here, and then there is also um, some yellow and red cycle information. What it does is it lists items which have passed normative ballot but have outstanding negatives that will require recirculation ballot to be published. Refer to the notes and action items. For more information on what action needs to be taken, and after one ballot cycle from its last ballot, the item will be marked as yellow, and after two ballot cycles, the item will be marked as red. And all that information I read was in the helpful hints. So there's always information in the helpful hints. If we move along after recirculation, if we go to unpublished ballots, well, we can look here. There is the CBCC item. And again, it gives you a lot of information about an unpublished ballot. Moving along to the unpublished CMETs, right now we, um, we don't have any 
buddy with some infractions there because myself and Andy Sessionson are doing some CMAX cleanup work, but occasionally items can reside in this tab. The five-year anniversary tab is lists standards that have reached their five-year anniversary. HQ, or the PBS metrics team, creates three-year plan items so that um, work groups know they have to decide what to do next with the um, the, item, the standards that are going to uh, expire from five years from their ANSI publication. This project insight list, you actually do not need to worry about. It's being used as data to store for other tabs to gather information from. And the most up-to-date project data is always on the HL7 searchable database. So while I've gone through the uh, spreadsheet itself, I wanted to go through the PowerPoint quickly here and just remind everyone that this is briefly how you use the PBS Metrics Excel spreadsheet. You go through the, the tabs one at a time. You can use the helpful hints to find out what each of the tabs mean. The second tab, the report card, shows your, for your work group an overview of what areas you need to focus on. The summary report card is how you drop down to use the, uh, the column C to drop down to your work group only. The recirculation tab here gives you the information about items that need to be addressed for recirculation. Unpublished is about unpublished ballots. We have the unpublished CMETS tab, the five-year anniversary tab, and remember you don't have to worry about the Project Insight tab. Lastly, I'm going to go back to the report card and describe the project health. So project health is number of the red cells in column C, D, J, and L. So C, D, J, and L. And cumulatively, they add up to be either green, yellow, or red. If you page down here, you will see that there's a legend. And this is how if you have zero in project health, you're green. If you have one, you're yellow. If you have two or more, you're red. Lastly, on this report card, you have these columns over here about idle ballots, expired DSCUs, active ballots without recon, and non-advancing ballots. These are linked to the hl7.org website. For community, for CBCC, you'll, they basically go to a tab called Reports on your workgroup homepage. And this is where you will see items that are active ballots. Here's, here's the infraction counts for those types of items that we were talking about on that PBS metrics report. So hopefully this has been helpful for you to navigate the PBS metrics Excel spreadsheet. I thank you for watching the webinar.